was on Saturday night. I want to say hi to everyone. I came down for Cavalcade of Lights. You do it every single year, Kev. How was it? It was great. It was absolutely fantastic. Great time. Good Cash Connors. Out. Cash Connors from uh, Chum FM uh, co hosted with me. Great, great time. You know what? He, he was his first time going. He was really impressed. It was kind of neat to look at through someone else's eyes who had never seen it before. So it was a lot of fun. So yeah. I want to thank everybody. It was a beautiful night. Is that his real name? Night. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Cash. I like that name. Cash. Um, what, oh, a lot of people asking, when is the tree sale? Now, it's not at Young Dundas Square this year. It's up at Yorkdale in the it parking lot. It is up at Yorkdale, so it's something a little bit different. Lots of parking up at Yorkdale, and Frankie and I will both be there. Are you going to be there, too? I'm not sure. Oh, we don't know. We, sure. have to decide, we have to decide that. So when but is I the, will be there. Winston has the dates for it. So when is the tree sale? So the tree sale, Kevin, is a Thursday, <laughs> next Thursday, so December 11th. And then Spirit of the Season is next uh, is two Fridays from now, the 19th. Yeah, and the BT Christmas party has been going on. How many years? I think it's been going on for 58 years now. 58 years. We're yeah. into our, our 69th year of the BT Christmas party. No, I don't know. Does anybody know how many BT Christmas parties we've done? At the Sheridan? I don't know. Would Cynthia Bond know? She Can might. we get a hold of her and maybe email her and I'll ask her? Yeah, I want to know now. Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, she would probably know. I'll find, I'll find out. Cynthia Bond, of course, uh, with Starwood and uh, the PR. It's such it's such a great place because you get a deal on a hotel. We we meet the viewers the night before. I always see them at the pool. And then we spend the whole morning together. It's just like it's such a great feel. And then we stick around after for pictures. Yeah. Um, I want to thank uh, one of my son's hockey teams for participating in Movember, raising about $5,000. Woo! So thank you very much uh, to the uh, the Barry Colts Whiskers team. Yeah. Uh, so here, here they are. See, they did a good job, hey, didn't they? Hey, they did a great job. <laughs> I think they did a wonderful job. Who knew at that age you could grow a mustache I like know. That? Great job, guys. Uh, actually, here's Tyler. He, now, he's out for injury, so he's not included in the pictures. But uh, you can take a look at just the job that they have done in growing their mustaches all month long. <laughs> Here you go. Look at that. Wow. But well, you know what? All the money raised goes towards uh, men's health issues, especially prostate cancer and uh, anxiety issues and things like that. That's, and concussion. It's amazing. Concussions. They're yeah. uh, investigating concussions and dealing with that as well. So for hockey players, they want to know that. How old are you when you start growing your mustache? Like my, uh, my, my son's 14. I don't, I don't see anything yet. I so. did it when I was 17 or 18. I had no problem with 17 or 18. <laughs> I thought you were going to say eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but. 17? 17 or 18, yeah. Okay. All right. Helps you get into bars. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't do that before you were a No, page. I did not. No, Kevin Franken. Never. <laughs> no. We were, we were only half an hour from Quebec. We'd go to Quebec. It was 18. Would you? It was 18. Well, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Things we're finding out about Kevin. Did you ever get in big trouble? Uh, would it be? <laughs> Did you get into any trouble? Uh, no. No? No. Do you want to hear a funny story? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. What? My parents took me out. Do you remember Frank Vitiers? Yes. Frank Vitiers Pizza. Oh my God. I have two Frank Vitiers glasses in my cupboard at home now. It's <laughs> gone. I bought them at a, at a, um, at a garage sale. Okay, so in any I'm case, telling my story. No, but go. Well, I was I was. I, I, remember. I had just turned 19. My parents brought me out to dinner at Frank Vitiers for my yes. 19th birthday. But I had been there with my friends before. <gasps> oh. You know, we, we 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 were regulars at Frank Vitiers. That's why they brought me there because because we liked it. So uh, my mom said, well, why, "Honey, why don't you have a, a beer with your for your birthday?" And I said, "Sure, I'll, I'll have an X, please." And the waitress says, "Okay, thanks." And she started to walk away. And my mom said, "Oh no 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 no! Just for, ask him for his ID. It's his 19th birthday today." And the waitress goes, "It's his 19th birthday today." <laughs> hmm. Oh, did your mom find out? Or did well, she? Well, at that point, she found out. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So the, the waitress actually said something. Yes. She didn't keep your little secret. <laughs> well, it could be, you know, it could be quite bad for a waiter or waitress. Not Absolutely. so much back then, but now yeah. it could be very bad if they, they serve someone underage. So kids, don't do that. That was an irresponsible thing I did as a child. Irresponsible. It was. It was, it was the only irresponsible thing I did as a child. Uh, the only thing, really. Good uh, story. We're going <laughs> to, you know, Winston's young enough to remember. Hold on here, just for a second. What? Except I have a feeling Winston's going to be asked for ID probably for the next 20 years. No, no, no. no. Okay, true. I get asked for ID at the LCBO 
all the time. But when I go to the restaurant, really? Yeah, I honestly, never get I, would, asked. I would card you every single time at the LCBO. I do. Yeah, well, yeah, they're they're you know, and that's one reason why we need to hold on to the LCBO. Yeah. Because honestly, that's one thing they do better than if we had privatized liquor sales in the in this province. If we privatize them, I mean, look at how many kids are smoking cigarettes now and are able to buy cigarettes pretty well, fairly easily. Exactly. If we privatize that, honestly, this is one thing I don't believe in privatizing. Privatizing. I think the LCBO does a great job in in keeping uh, underage kids from from buying booze. You that bet. doesn't mean they're not going to get it somehow. But all right, we're going to take a break on breakfast television. We're celebrating a very special it's 25 silver it is 20 uh, silver anniversary a little later on on BT who could it be hmm. we'll be right back Love is a <laughs> not you